We move into the second half of Unit 2 with Section 2.5, which deals with solving and graphing linear inequalities, as my title says, and I'm underlining in blue. So therefore, examples of the type of problems that we're going to do would be y is less than 1 half x plus 1. That would be an example of a linear inequality because it has both an x and a y variable, and the x's highest power is 1. Now, the features of a linear inequality graph. Please write this in your notes. Number one, when you graph a linear inequality, it has a boundary line. And that boundary line may be either a solid or a dotted line, depending on, which I'm going to do a little erasing up here, depending on this symbol right here, which was less than. If that symbol is either less than or greater than, it will be a dotted line. And if it's a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it would be a solid line. Now, the boundary line, number two, divides the coordinate plane into two parts. And the key about that is number three. Only one side of the boundary line will be shaded. And that side is the side that has the answers. So when you graph a linear equality, a couple things you got to keep in mind. What is the inequality symbol, which is going to tell you a lot? Number two, you got to have a boundary line that's solid or dotted. And number three, you have to have shading. Now, if you'd like to pause the video and copy those notes down, please do. And then I'm going to do a couple examples for you. All right, example number one. We are going to graph y is less than 5. Now, when you graph an inequality, pretend, pretend that the symbol is equal to. Now, we've already studied equations like y equals 5. Since there is no x value, that means that the slope is equal to 0. So in other words, this equation is kind of like y equals 0x plus 5. Therefore, our 5 is really the y-intercept value. And we all know that just y equals 5 is a horizontal line. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot at 5. And I know my line is horizontal. Now, before I can graph my line, I need to check my inequality symbol. Since it is less than, that means that the boundary points do not work in the problem, which means my line has to be dotted. For instance, I can check this. I'm going to erase what I have in green. My equation is y is less than 5. So let's say I test the boundary point. I'm going to test the point 0, 5. Well, there's no place to put the x value in my inequality. So what I'm going to do is just take the 5 and put it in for y. And it says 5 is less than 5. Well, we know that that is not true. Therefore, the point 0, 5 is not part of the answer, which is why the line is dotted. If you have further questions about that, please ask me in class. Now, our boundary line is drawn. It divides our coordinate plane into two parts. The top half, which, which I'll call part 1. The top half, which is part 1. And the bottom half, which is part 2. Only half of those coordinates will work in this particular problem. So what we always need to do is we need to test one point not on the boundary line. And I always recommend if your line doesn't go through 0, 0, and I'm going to write this down, if the line doesn't go through 0, 0, use that point 
as the test point. If you want to pause the video and copy that down, please do that right now at this time. Okay, so now that you've copied that down, I'm going to show you how this works mathematically. I'm going to erase what I've written, and I'm going to use, since my line doesn't go through the point zero, 0, which I'm going to put a dot right there, that's my test point, I'm going to test that in the coordinate y, is, or in the, in the inequality y is less than 5. Again, there's no place to put the x. I can't use that, but I can take the 0 and plug it in for y, and I get 0 is less than 5. And the question is, does that make a true statement? And the answer is yes, obviously that is true. So therefore, since it's true, we shade the side with our test point because all those coordinates will work. So I'm just going to draw a number of lines. And for those of you that have colored pencils, colored pens, you can do, do some shading. But this entire side of the boundary line is the answer to our inequality y is less than or equal to 5. Because every point in that shaded area will work. Further questions, please ask me during class. Now at this time, I will do one more problem for you. The last example in this video is to use the slope and y-intercept to graph y is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Well, what we're going to do to begin with is graph just like an equals equation. So I know the y-intercept is equal to 4. So I put a dot on 4 and our slope is negative two-thirds. So I'm going to go over three for the run and down two for the rise. So I'll go over three and down two. Put a dot about right there. Go over three again and down two. Put a dot about right there. So it's going to look something like that. Now before I draw my line, I need to check my inequality sign. My inequality sign is less than or equal to, which means those boundary points do work on my graph. So I can draw a solid, hopefully straight line. Now again, we've divided our coordinate plane into two parts. The part number one, part number two. Which side do we shade? So we need to, since it doesn't go through 0, 0, that's our easiest test point. So we're going to test the point 0, 0. And I'm going to rewrite my inequality. Y is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Now I do have a place to put the x. So I'm going to put 0 in for x. And I'm going to take that 0 and put it in for y. And find out, is this a true statement or not? And I'm going to put 0 where x is. Well, negative 2 thirds times 0, that wipes out. So all I have left is the question 0 greater than or equal to 4. Well, we all know that that is not true. That is false. And since it's false, that means shade the other side. So we tried the point 0, 0, which is where my red x is. It did not work. So therefore, I'm going to shade the other side of my boundary line because all these points over here, where all my red lines are drawn, that's the points that will satisfy our original inequality and make that true. Now, if you have further questions, please ask me during class. But otherwise, that is how you graph linear inequalities.